From the Ender Fringe Festival, it's set list, stand up without a net. With comedians from around the world creating stand-up comedy out of thin air, on the spot, under pressure, and without any preparation whatsoever. Ladies and gentlemen, will you welcome the never before seen set list of Mr. John Robbins! Hey folks, uh, it's smashing to be here, thanks so much for having me. A lot of you might not know who I am or have uh, seen me before, so I thought tonight I'd just tell you a few things about myself. Uh, first of all... <laughs> it's very difficult to find time to be creative. Unless that time suddenly appears in your diary unexpectedly. So for example, sometimes you might go to the shops, the shop's gonna be shut, so you've suddenly got yourself half an hour free. Sometimes, you may be penciled in a bit of lady time. You know, babes. <laughs> and you penciled in maybe seven, eight minutes. Um, you know what happens? You suddenly find yourself with seven and a half minutes to spare. <laughs> And often at times like that, I'll be pretty inspired by what I've seen, you know. Let us go then, you and I, when the jizz is spread out across your eyes. <laughs> like a patient bukkake'd on a table. I don't know if you're familiar with the work of T.S. Eliot, or if you rearrange the letters of his name, Toilets. So, a lot of my poetry, it's jizz-based. <laughs> half a league, half a league, half a league onwards, into the valley of death, drove the 600. I don't even need to change the words to that, because that's just a poem about ejaculating inside a woman. <laughs> Tennyson, I mean, a lot of you don't know that that's what that poem was about. It's not about the bravery of 600 soldiers in the Boer War. It's about sperm. It's about the tragedy that for everyone that gets through, millions die. Uh, the second thing uh, you need to know about me is... Oh, it's important, this one. Um, I was talking about my uh, diary early, uh, earlier, and obviously uh, babe time is Mondays, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays and Sundays. You're thinking, John, why is there no babe time on a Wednesday? Because on a Wednesday, I like to reenact uh, moments from history. And I like it possible to keep them jizz-free, actually, folks. <laughs> Guys, um, but this this went sorely wrong um, because one advantage of the other jizz-filled days of the year is the week is um, is the jizz holder, uh, or as I call it, my foreskin. <laughs> that's what it's called. That's what medical professionals call it. <laughs> And uh, unfortunately, during one particularly uh, over-enthusiastic reenactment of the French Revolution, I performed what could only be described as a uh, hastily improvised circumcision <laughs> on myself. I'm a, I'm a very filthy comic, actually, madam. <laughs> On, on a, a hastily improvised circumcision on what has now been known uh, throughout the lands as Guillotine Wednesday. <laughs> Third thing you need to, but bearing in mind how filthy a comic I am and how comfortable I am doing filthy comedy, because I'm very edgy as a human being, as you know. Um, uh, the third thing you need to know about me is. <laughs>
I warned you, that's what's going to happen. Keep your fucking box sets away from me. I don't watch box sets because I'm very happy with my girlfriend. I'm not trying to paper over the cracks, and if I did, I'd do it with poetry covered in jizz. Thanks, gentlemen. You've been lovely.